Gordy Jones, and we are on the field at, yes, Yankee Stadium, where Penn State beat Boston College 31 to 30, I believe it was, in overtime in the Pinstripe Bowl today in the Bronx. Unbelievably beautiful day for late December, and an unbelievably beautiful ending for Penn State to a game in which they trailed 21 to 7 in the second half. And then. And then Christian Hackenberg became the 2013 version of Christian Hackenberg. Threw for 371, threw for four touchdowns, three receivers caught seven passes apiece. Four touchdowns went to four different guys. He threw three to eight different guys, and all he just looked back to what he had. Been. And they play, they pass block better, but they didn't pass block unbelievably well. But they, but they pass block better well than enough. they have, well enough. well enough to give him some time. So it again, it gives Penn State. Fans, I think, uh, a tantalizing little notion of what Christian Hackenberg could could be with a better offense around him, and and that's what people are going to take from this game going forward. I would caution people, though. Uh, a couple years ago, Anthony Morelli had a real good Outback Bowl, and everybody thought that was going to be the launching pad for him. It, it, it didn't work out that way, and, and and this won't necessarily, you know, <clears throat> it certainly doesn't solve Penn State problems and the issues they have in their program, but today, this was a good day. It was an exciting day. A lot of kids made a lot of plays, and the memory that I'm going to take from this is right over here, these uh, Penn State players doing the Lambo leap onto that the was, New York Yankees dugout. That was a pretty cool moment. Yeah, pretty cool moment. And, I, and I think the fact that they blocked well after Miles Diefenbach was lost for the game, yeah. that says something. Yeah. I don't know what it says. I mean, <laughs> I mean, one of the things I guess it says is something James Franklin said after the game, that Ricky Ronnie and Herb Hand had a real good hand handle on Boston College's defensive tendencies, and that seemed to really help. It did, and you know, we, we thought that one of the dynamics in this game we thought was Penn State's great run defense against Boston College's great running Boston College won that side of it. It, oh my was, gosh. it was a Did fierce ever, battle in the trenches. Anthony ever. Zettel for Penn State had a tremendous game, but Boston College won that battle and and ran for a, a, a ton of yards. 289. Yeah, almost 300 yards. Uh, uh, but Penn State made enough plays in the passing game to get him over the top, which we didn't. Nobody would have predicted no, that, no. but it happened. So Penn State ends with a winning record. Uh, lots of interesting storylines going forward in terms of recruiting, in terms of developing his program, James Franklin getting it to where he wants to be. But for today, in beautiful New York City, I got my official pinstripe bowl hat on and I'm feeling good about it. And, and, and I think Penn State fans are feeling good about what they saw today. Penn State wins the pinstripe.